Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel Tech Tricks. I'm going to introduce you a very useful tool and very powerful tool with the HP servers. It's called ILO or Integrated Lights Out. It's a remote server management processor embedded on the system boards of HP ProLiant and Blade servers that allows controlling and monitoring of the HP servers from a remote location. It's a very powerful tool provides multiple ways to configure, update, monitor and run servers remotely. It's having its own network connection and IP address to which server administrators can connect via domain name systems or DHCP or through a separate dedicated management network. ILO comes pre-configured with ProLiant servers of the 300 series and above. A default ILO user account and password is included. ILO management tool uh, a user can perform with this many functions suppose like power on and power off the server, restart the server, monitor the server regardless of the state of the server's operating system. Just imagine you can check your monitor, you can check your server, you can uh, see the logs, everything even your server uh, shut down if there is a even power failure you can see you can measure power usage and you can si access system logs with this utility you can apply patches firmware updates and critical updates i'll show you in this video how you will uh, do administration through ilo how you can see logs how you can manage how you can administrator the users uh, let's start uh, from now. So let's start. I have pre-configured my ILO for my server. I have put my IP on this and uh, this page will come. This is security banner I have uh, put for uh, any other user. You can change it as per your requirement. I have put, I have uh, keep one user for demo purposes. I put username and password. So you are here. I'll show you how detailed description it's showing in on each step for you. Uh, you can see the server is powered off. As of now it's powered off. Even then you can see and perform many functions. Uh, we will see, we will see uh, system health. Just click. Uh, see it's all the things. Uh, you can see in this uh, menu how much details available. See fans. It's uh, taking bit time for loading. Uh, just see fans. It's showing temperature, power, processors, memory, about network about device inventory storage and many many other things it's showing log the most important thing in this is ahs log or active health system log you can download this by default the date date range is uh, one week and uh, for one week you need to download almost 20 to 30 MB data depends on uh, how much events have been uh, placed in uh, server whenever you contact your provider they need your AHS log then they can they can diagnose what is the problem with the server and they can uh, guide you for troubleshooting next very important thing is remote console this is very much and a big support for uh, from ILO for your server. You can launch uh, through web start, keep and uh, just it will show a Java applet. And then uh, run continue for your uh, remote console. 
this is our uh, servers console it's uh, you know it's powered off and you can perform if it's in um, powered on you can perform as much as function as you are physically available on your server next thing I will show you the power management you can uh, perform uh, for uh, power measuring and other things in this man the next very important thing is network it's having a dedicated network code for ILO here you can change the name and uh, you can go to IPv4 for changing the IP address as per your uh, requirement as per your network configurations for remote support uh, you have to register your server uh, with your provider and then you can uh, get support from them the last one is administration for user administration you can go here and uh, you can perform many functions like add user edit user delete user see you can edit delete and you can add new and uh, for security so guys this is the um, introduction and uh, administration of ILO hope you enjoyed it and it's it will uh, be uh, informative for you in next video I will show you how to configure it I'm signing out thank you very much for seeing this video thank you